So we haven't done a video in a long time, but we're in Milwaukee now. We traveled yesterday. It was quite a long trip, but um, we had to stop and get a magnet for our tea, and I'll video and show you guys that. I think you can see the sign, right? Oh, what's the name of the place? Uh, where is it at? Um, I guess they don't have a sign on their building. Oh, you're standing in the way. Oh, am I? <laughs> you can't really see it, but it's called Signs Now, and we highly recommend them. They've been so helpful and very friendly people. Um, so there it is, all together on the trailer. Back up so that way you can see the whole thing in there. Okay. There you, there go. you go. It's all open. We had quite an event yesterday. We had a blow. Well, we had a Not hole a in the front tire, and a, before we left, we had the rear tire was leaking. Oh well, that's the way it rolls. But uh, we were able to fix well, both. Well, no pun intended, I guess, right? That's right. No pun intended. <laughs> but uh, here's the sign we had them make. We just bought. We just got a magnet, so we just stuck it right Just a that. magnetic sign that goes on the inside of the flip-up doors, so uh, it'll be the greeting. We haven't seen a picture of the whole thing yet. We didn't, you didn't really show the whole thing either. Okay. No, we've been in the shop, so this is the first one out. We had to scrape off. They had some nasty thunderstorms here, but of course there was bugs because, well, it sticks up half the height of the expedition again. So uh, about halfway up the doors, there was bugs splattered all over there. So we got those scraped off of there, rubbed off there, whatever you want to call it. But uh, they had some nasty thunderstorms here in Milwaukee and, and uh, pretty much washed the car clean. So <laughs> I didn't have to scrub too hard, thank goodness. But we're, we're, we're expecting more here in about an hour and a half. So Yeah. And I think I am going to go ahead and outline that Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, it, Jehovah is God and Jesus is King, I mean, so that way it, it'll pop out a little more. It does blend a little bit too much, uh, as you can see, you can barely see it here, and I want it to pop a little better. So uh, we're going to spring by Michael's and get some, uh, like a paint pen or something like that, just so that way we can outline it. But there it is, all displayed. and with the flip up doors and the sign. So that'll work pretty cool. It's been raining all night, so my, my windshield's all spotted up. Sorry for the glare there. I'll have to get out and show you guys, but this is Miller Park in Milwaukee. If you've never been here, we're here for our 2014 convention. And right now we're driving around because Chad is going to help with parking this year, and so we're trying to find the parking lot he is assigned to help. Um, it's He's got to be there by 6 in the morning, so we left about 5 from our room so we could get coffee and all those good things and maneuver our way around here. Well, I think this is Miller, the Miller lot. So he's got a little diagram here of the, the layout, and he'll be videoing here in the next few days of all the activities that are going on. We're really happy to be here. Now we're in a different parking lot. We found his assignment and we were just coming over here. These are the news for Milwaukee. And in the background you can see Miller Park all in the fog. It looks so beautiful. Pretty neat. We're going to see what these guys are up to doing now. It is such a dreary day. It's nice and warm. It's, what is the temperature? 60, 60 degrees? That's really nice, I think. It's perfect, perfect temperature. We're sitting in the parking lot. It's about uh, 6 6.05, and we're waiting for the other brothers to get here um, so that Chad can do his assignment. It doesn't actually start till 6.30, but. You can barely see the top of the stadium through the fog. Yeah, it's really foggy today. Can you turn that? Uh, I could like try. Let's see if I can do it. Well. I can't see what is on the screen, but... Can you see the screen? There you go. Looks small in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything look, looks small on a tablet. So... I couldn't decide what to wear this morning when I got up, and I decided to wear this big sun hat today. I got the, my warmest outfit on, which is a sundress, and I brought my coat with me, so 
could stay a little bit warmer, but they closed up Miller Park, you know, because the roof is retractable. So it's supposed to, it's an open stadium, but they have it closed up, so um, it's not wet in there, which is going to be really nice. <coughs> you don't have to get soaked. But it's, I guess Milwaukee's been getting a lot of rain lately, and it, it thunderstormed pretty good, I would say, Tuesday night. Late Monday, I mean late Tuesday night, early Monday, Wednesday morning. Wow, I can't get my days straight. Wake up. Wednesday morning. Yeah, I had a long day. <laughs> Wednesday morning, and then it rained a little bit. Last, uh, it went, rained all night last night, too. So we've had a lot of rain since we've been here. And now it's just sort of misting out. Mm-hmm. Kind of damp and pretty humid. Very humid here. It's raining, of course it's humid. But I mean it feels sticky. Not just wet, but it feels sticky. But we'll take some more video later today and and show you more footage from the convention. I'm not really supposed to record during the convention because it's it can be a distraction for others. But um, I don't think that's true. Oh really? Do not attach to any of the equipment. Is the, always the announcement. Yeah. So and record. no flash. And no flash. So I have to take the flash off the back of this because that would be totally blinding and irritating. I have to cover it up with your finger. But then you, then I'd be covering up the lens. Is the lens it's right, right next, the flash? It's oh. right next to it, yeah. So, anyway, I'll try to get some footage later today and, and show you what 34,000 people looks like in one setting. Like, most of you might know what a lot of people looks like. I've never been in, in an area where they have something like a stadium or where a lot of people can gather together in like a big city like that. So I'm kind of excited. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it'll be neat. And the re reception for the tea has been very good. A lot of people, brothers and sisters are pretty excited about it. So <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do for the next two hours because the doors don't open till 8. 8 o'clock. So I'm going to be sitting in the car for two hours. Well, now an hour and 45 minutes. It's not that bad. I guess I'm used to sitting in the car. We go to a Bible study or or something. And, and only two of us go to the Bible study. Or only two of us go to the door. And so whoever's left sitting in the car just waits. Because if more than two go to the door, it could be overwhelming for the householder. So we're kind of used to just being patient and sitting and... Patience Sometimes is a it virtue. happens. Sometimes it happens. Somebody gets hung up on the door. Yeah. But we're understanding that people have questions and we'll just wait patiently. So I'll just wait patiently. So apparently that must mean just quit raining. The crack in the roof. <laughs> Can't zoom this thing, can you? Gonna zoom in on the jumbotron there. 
the semi live feed. Met live. The one little bird, where is he at? It's running around in the field. Is he still <laughs> He was squawking the whole time. <laughs> He's squawking right now. Just went over a bridge. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're on day two of our convention. And uh, it is six o'clock. We're getting to the site a little bit later. We slept in just a little bit more. And um, I don't have any lipstick on. It was pouring rain coffee. yesterday when we were doing parking. Yeah, he got soaked. Um, but we twice. Soaked once when it was raining. Soaked the second time when <laughs> it got so hot in the afternoon. Oh my gosh! They opened up Miller Park Stadium. And everybody had their umbrellas popped up where it was sunny. And the rest of us who didn't pop up our umbrellas or didn't have umbrellas were just so hot, just dying hot. We had to get up in the middle of the session and go stand under one of those big fans in the, what do they call it, the corridor or whatever they call it. So anyway, I wanted to get on here and just say the response has been awesome <laughs> as far as the car is concerned. and. If I can later on today, I'll take some, I'll sneak and take some footage of that, of uh, people's response. They, they think it's pretty neat. They like the car, they like the idea of it, and we were just so happy that we could make so many people smile. That was really our goal. It wasn't to bring glory or attention to ourselves or to the vehicle, but that we're, we are proud to be Jehovah's Witnesses, and we have a rich history. And I know a lot of people, maybe even some of our viewers, don't agree with what um, we do or what we say, but that doesn't mean that we don't have something in common. Um, I don't know. We just, we really had a fun day yesterday with everybody coming up and asking us questions about it. And what do you think? I haven't had a chance to think about what you were going to say, so. Oh, yeah. We had a little bit of, I don't want to call it a catastrophe, but it was kind of an irritation. When we got out at the noon break, and the noon break was a little bit shorter, it was only an hour and 15 minutes. But anyway, um, we had a flat tire on our trailer, and the front, it would be considered a passion, passenger side tire on the T was flat. So we had two flat tires, and so that was, that was kind of irritating. So last night... We had to go to a tire store and get a new spare tire on our spare rim, or on that rim, I guess it was. For the trailer. For the trailer. And then we had to go to, we just went to Harbor Freight here in Milwaukee, and we bought some tire irons, and we fixed the T. So today we should be good to go yeah. with everything. I have a tire iron come up and smack me in the face right there. Oh, yeah, he's got a nice little bruise. Yeah, so it, dealing with 100-year-old cars... Sometimes you win, sometimes they win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're just so glad to be here again. I just got out of the truck. So this is Miller Park here. Chad is working in the Miller parking lot. That's what they that's what it's called. There's all different parking lots around here. You can Google it if you want to know, but this is 94 that cuts right through here. The Blue Angels are in town. And so, you know, they open the the roof and the Blue Angels are just flying by, you know, three or four times during the day. You can't hear nothing. And and they weren't even performing yet, the Blue Angels weren't. So it should be interesting today because today is actually the air show, today and tomorrow. So it'll be interesting how many flyovers we end up getting and where you can't hear anything. But Very nice. Well, you baptismal candidates today, you will make public your dedication to Jehovah. This date, June 21st, 2014. Your baptism today is not merely a transitional event, such as graduating from high school or getting a driver's license. It is a life-altering step that symbolizes your dedication to Jehovah. You
promised Jehovah that you will do his will. Since you have chosen to get baptized, your life will become more meaningful and satisfying because you are focusing on doing God's will and not your own. Monday morning, it's 8 o'clock, we are very exhausted. We're heading home from the convention from Milwaukee. It's very, um, the air is very heavy today, so it's kind of sticky feeling, but it's supposed to rain. We had such a nice time, uh, but we're anxious to get home, and so just wanted to get out here and do a quick video. I'll try to do some more video. I know I always say that and then I end up not. Um, it seemed like with the, with the vehicle, the Model T, we had always had people around it. And again, it wasn't the glory of the car or us, but the message that it gives. And the, the kick back to history. Yeah, that's a good point. So <laughs> there's been a lot of people say it's on Instagram and it's here on this Facebook and this social media. and. I find that kind of interesting. Um, I tried finding it. I could not find it. And then finally, somebody told me what hashtag, hashtag to use, and I did find it on Instagram. So that was kind of neat to see, but I'm going to do some more digging. It's not that necessarily I want to see a picture of it, because I've got it, so I can see it any time, but I want to see what the comments are and what they think of it, um, whether it's positive or negative or whatever. So I have to do some more digging on that, but... Uh, need to stop and get fuel and some coffee. Um, today I'm going to try to make it my last day for coffee. I, I need to get back on my regular routine. But Chad's going to still drink coffee. So anyway, um, we'll talk to you in a little bit. We stopped in Madison and got fuel. This is hilarious, but there are more people on the road that recognize the vehicle. And then it says Jehovah is God and Jesus is King. <laughs> We're just like waving at everybody. But really why I push record on this is because I gave my little dog a greenie. I gave Lou a greenie. And watch this. It's like... I don't know if you can see that. She's on my lap. This car must have recognized it said Jehovah on it because they hit the brakes. Slowing down? Yeah. Well, usually she just uh, freaks out. I don't know if you can hear her. Can I have it? Can I have it? Let go. Let go, mouse. Is you couldn't get her to take it a minute ago. She didn't want it, and then finally, when I stuck it in her mouth, and she realized what it was, she was like, "Oh yeah, I'm having some of that." She won't let go over with her paw either. <laughs> well, anyway, <clears throat> sometimes she gets gross. Sometimes she gets really fierce with it, and she'll like try to bite, bite us, and she growls at us. So I just buy the little teeny tiny ones, so that way it's just short lived and she's done with it. It's just a kind of a treat, and we only get them when we're on a road trip. Anyway, I just wanted to do another quick video. We just stopped. We just stopped at uh, Hudson, which is a little town just on the border of Wisconsin and uh, Minnesota, and. This is the Mississippi we're crossing right now. The truck's passing. We can see that back right there. It's kind of like a mess. Anyway, we've run into more witnesses. 
which has been kind of fun. They question us. They say, oh, we got a, we saw a picture of it, but uh, we never got to see it in person. So now people are actually getting to see it in person. Kind of nice meeting all sorts of friends. Yeah, we are from all over, all over the place: North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin. It's been nice. So. We're having just a quick snack. There was a McDonald's next door to the gas station we were filling up. And I got Chad some fries and Lufa here. She's being kind of nasty because she wants to eat. Then he went inside and he found bananas. I don't know if you can see those bananas right there. They were 39 cents a pound. 38 cents a pound. Back, or, back home, price. they were half price. That's like half price for our reference. Oh yeah, they were at home. They're 79 cents a pound craziness. And then what I got was just a little side salad for a buck. Look at that trash on the floor. Uh, anyway, I'm going to shut this off and finish eating and let you know when we get a little closer how it's going. So far we've had no issues with the trailer, with the pickup or anything, so it's going well.